a Formula One racing car with the ancient walls of the old city as its backdrop. The race is a new kind of spectacle for these onlooking ultra orthodox Israelis. Indeed, today is the first time Formula One racing has occurred in the state of Israel. The main goal is to launch Jerusalem into the international motorsport scene. The biggest racing champions came to support the project, such as Ferrari racer Giancarlo Fisichella, the winner of the Grand Prix. I think today is, uh, is going to be an incredible feeling, special feeling, um, you know, to be part uh, today of this uh, uh, historic day for the city, um, for the for the peace. There are 2,400 meters of track mostly around the walls of the old city. For the occasion, almost all of the roads have been blocked, with more than 600 policemen mobilized and a cost of over 3 million euro. In short, it can be said that Jerusalem Mayor Nir Barkat did not at all fear the opposition. It's a fusion of history and modernity, 3,000 years of history and spiritualism that we would like to open up for the benefit of the world to enjoy. As mayor, I set a goal to develop culture, sports, and tourism for the benefit of culture and sports lovers, to give people great excuses to come and visit our amazing city. We are breaking through and returning the role Jerusalem played two and three thousand years ago as a destination for pilgrims and tourists around the world. With this, Jerusalem joins the private club of cities like Rio de Janeiro, Moscow, and Rotterdam with a message of peace and tolerance. All people love motorsports. You will see around the track Muslims and Christians and Jews from all neighbors of Jerusalem come to watch the sport they love. No politics, sports. And when you focus and make everyone enjoy Sports, from my experience, it brings people together with a message of peace, with a message of coexistence, with a message of let's share it together on the same track, drivers from all over the world, from different brands, in a city that over three and a half billion people around the world love so much. And I believe that the combination promotes peace. There is no competition this year. The Peace Roadshow is only a demonstration. The Formula One race, having first begun in 1985, has finally arrived to Israel. The first motorsports corporation was started in 1990, and the first official authorizations only came in 2011. The Peace Roadshow is yet another building block towards Jerusalem becoming a potential candidate for a Grand Prix.